Well, good afternoon, my YouTube friends. It's Margaret again from Emmy's Orchids, and I just wanted you to see the temperature 30C, and it's 37.1C outside. So, and it feels like a hot house in here. As you can see, we've got thunderstorms coming tonight, and uh, thank goodness for that. Oh, I tell you can't be doing with all this heat. Now just hold on let me just turn this uh, big fan off. Oh there we go and uh, let me show you where the uh, the new orchids are. I'm just showing you that new growth. I think it's a growth anyway. I can't think it's a flower spike on the uh, Cilogeny Berfidiensi. But look at that. Can you see the orchid gnats? I don't suffer with them too much but <coughs> <coughs> excuse me <coughs> That's because uh, <coughs> I've got bark in these um, Iron Maidens and uh, and of course the orchid gnats just love it because they get quite moist these are and uh, that's uh, the top one I've just shown you is Vanda curvifolia and this one is uh, Percivilliana winter and this is doing very nice this is I love how the way the, uh, the new growths are pointing now towards the windows and that um, cosmetic cloth, well it's not cosmetic cloth, it's horticultural uh, matting but um, the way I've put it inside, that V shape, um, means that now these, um, these roots won't get damaged. And this is one of the, not one today, but this is one of the, uh, this is Fred Clark Aura. And are you going to see? how uh, it's getting a bit shriveled at. I'm trying just to hold on. I've given it the tiniest drop of water because we've got the little baby there and I don't give it too much. So, and it's given it going, uh, not tomorrow, but maybe Saturday, it's given it going a little bit cooler. So that's where my uh, bark, bark, barkeria, the one I showed you downstairs with the, um, Boxing video that's mine and I've had that a while. Now everything in this grow room was watered yesterday and uh, because we knew it was going to be a hot day and it's no good watering, well I don't think, you know, um, I just watered yesterday so everything's hydrated and tomorrow they'll all get watered again tomorrow. Um, the Vanders might get put in a bucket tonight. Um, the same bucket as last night. I don't think they mind. And uh, can you see? All these, look at that, that's a double root. So all these um, are growing very nicely. And we have, we've got no troubles at all. And that one over there, look at the roots, got loads coming out there. So um, the difference here is I've moved Van der Peaches, I've left Walkeriana here. Um, because this light's high light and I do think that's grown you know since I've had it and this is where we've put the Cygnotes and uh, it's Cygnotes uh, Taiwan Gold where are you? there <laughs> let's see if I can show you without it's the light you see when I come here there I've wiped those leaves and I've checked them again and I think they're going to be all right and um, I think it was happy sap so and it, this one at the moment just for stability I've put it in this holy clay pot and I just have to keep my eye on that now for those roots but it's all like I say it's all potted up it's getting maximum sunlight here like all these others this is the uh, other uh, Cygnotes Wine Delight. <coughs> this one here. Oh, can you see it? Again, that's not been watered. And uh, I'll, have to, I'll have to start watering um, beginning of July, I'm sure I will. But at the moment, and this one of course is uh, Catacetum Pileatum. And little, even little babies coming along fine with this. Like I say, I get, this gets watered two or three times a week. <clears throat> so, the light won't be good here. 
Uh, that's the other Vanda peaches. Sorry about that. So that's been watered. Everything, everything in here has been watered. So I've no need to worry. It's a, it's a day off if you like because I knew at some point um, we were going to have the arrival of the orchids and of course they've come today. So uh, there's uh, little Vanda peaches can you see? I don't know whether we're going to get a little bit of bud blast. I'm hoping we won't. But I've just um, put it in this glass vase here, just so that it, um, there we go, it rests better in this one. Can you see all those little tiny blooms? And we've got these others to open yet. And I'm hoping we won't get any bu uh, bud blast. And, uh, so this is one of the new ones today, uh, Bark, Barkeria uh, Watoniana, Watoniana, I think. So that's on this mount, I had to clip it down. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, so it's got a, a nice green root there and there's another one somewhere. So um, that won't stay there, it's just on top of the... Um, humidifier and um, <clears throat> I'll find a spot for that so it won't be staying there. Now here we are that's the Brasso Catlianthe Jarac Fire Star that goes in uh, the little buckets are called tin canalis and uh, that's been um, fed with uh, the calcium mix and the um, seaweed extract. So that one's just sat there at the moment and of course that's the uh, uh, Maxillaria memoria ben Belena. that's in this little bird feeder, bird bath. But I, I just, and that of course was in a holy clay pot so that just sits there nicely minding its own business and that's where I put the van der uh, Lamellata and you see just tucked it away in that little bucket there because I've got the other van der Sarulsons in the bird feeder. Um, so let's just see if I can take you over here. Don't know whether I can. <coughs> take you all. Right, let me get my step. So this is uh, Barkeria, Cathy. And um, was it this one? Oh yes, it was this one. It had got a, a little tiny growth on this cane here, a little tiny one. And as I brought that piece of wire round, I caught it and it dropped off. It was about an inch and a half. Ah, I thought, darn clumsy, Margaret. But, see? And uh, got a nice green growing root there. And, uh, and, I think this is the one, that's the new growth now, and uh, from this new growth, I think it's this one, it might be the other one, um, I have got new roots coming, which is a good sign. So that's that one there, be careful as I manoeuvre around, just checking that path, the old peddling then, might have to take that down, get some water. And uh, this is Bark Area. No, I can never say that name. Melon Colon or something. By Abosa Ivory. That was the trouble you see. <clears throat> I have my glasses on, but I have cataracts. And sometimes I can't make out the. Uh... Now, if I go a little bit further in. There we are. Anyway, um, it's no fun, you know, getting old. <laughs> right, so this one's got this new growth, and it's flowered on that new growth, 
and it's flowered on that new growth, excuse the noise because I'm under the fan, and here there are, um, this part here, there are two tiny little new growths. So uh, we've got a nice growing tip there and we've got growing tips here. So uh, there we are. And that of course is the big uh, um, Dendrobium delicatum. That's on that big two foot plank of wood. So uh, like I say, everything's got watered. So I've gone, I've put, I've shown you everything now. I'm to one, two, three, Four, five, four, five. Why am I one missing? One. Oh, six no cheese. That's over there. Yes, six. And this was, of course, the Sidera japonica. Nice roots. That doesn't like it particularly that warm, but the fans are on, and the fan will get put on as I go out. And that was. The Lelia purpurata, look at those roots coming along nicely now. And oh, let me show you this one before I go. Because uh, this is one I've been trying to save, and this was the retirement Phalaenopsis. Um, the nice deep pink one. And I've had it in all kinds of medias, and in the end, I've put it. See, it's got a new leaf coming, and guess what? Luke. Can you see? I know I'm a little bit close really, aren't I? There. So that now, to me, is an indicator that this is out of the woods. I've saved that one. Thank goodness for that, because, you know, it's sentimental, that. Oh, this one's just uh, dropping one or two of the little leaves, little flowers. And uh, I'll keep my eye on that now. And uh, I've, I've taken the uh, Dendrobium crumenitum um, just outside. Um, I don't think I'm going to leave it outside. It has been still dropping some leaves today, and um, because we're good, it's being well, we're supposed to have torrential rains tonight. I mean, the Dendrobium delicatum that can stay outside. That that doesn't mind. And it's been outside for weeks and weeks and weeks. So that doesn't mind at all. So I will be doing a, um, an update at some point on my uh, bucket list because I've got spikes coming. And uh, when, we've got, when we've got out of this hot spell, it just saps all your energy, this does. I don't know how these people go on who live in these hot places. Another spike coming from there. And I don't think I'm going to be able to show you that because of the light. But the um, that phalaenopsis there will open very, very soon. So, uh, there we go. We've got steak for tea tonight, but I don't know why it's just too hot. <laughs> oh dear, never mind. There we are. So, what have we gone up to now? 30.2. 30.2. dear. Absolutely. I can feel my clothes all sticking to me now. But never mind. Never mind. And I'll just give you a quick look here. And then that's going to be it now. Because, uh, oh, there's the other little uh, Lambda Cerulsons. And of course, that just sits in there. Can you see? That's a little dinky. Oh, and this one. I love this one. I was checking, I was checking the, uh, my old videos and if I put it on here, I hope I don't knock something off and this is the Kaisis Oh, no! A little root I thought, well, isn't that sad's law? A root coming Of all the places it could come through and I've not cut any holes through here Of all the places, it's come through there so, but I've got other roots coming as well. But this growth here, this, which it came with a flower spike, I assume I can cut that up. It was only about that big, and then it's grown all this. 
Look at that. All that. I'm absolutely thrilled to bits with this one. And those back bulbs, look how fat they are. It's a little greedy thing this is, you know. Feed it. Oh well. Every time it gets watered, I'll give it, uh, you know, I'll give it some food. It has whatever's on the menu and um, it has to do with that. That leaf's like that because part of it's damaged. But never mind. Yeah, you see. Yeah. There's that little root. So, that can come back over here now. That's the other one, the Zyarak. Where's my label gone? Oh, here. Oh, no, that's my Procatifolia. Zyarak Green Star. And that's going mad with the roots everywhere. I mean, it's the right conditions in this grow room. It's just that it's that darn hot. And uh, there we are, Michael. My... Uh, Galio Petalum, and now I don't know whether it's supposed to be Princess Hurry, Yori, or how do, you, how do you pronounce that? Hurry. Might be wrong, but look at that, that new, look at that, how it's grown. Not touch this, fried me, they fried me to death, these do you know? Because um, they like the, it's, you know, it's part of the Zygo family, and um, they can be very, very touchy, these type. So I just leave well alone. Anyway, I'm rattling on now and that's because I'm getting hot and bothered. So, oops. That one's going to be alright now. That new, that new Signucci's, Taiwan Gold. Orange. Right, you've had enough of me waffling on. There's all the Hoyas. So from me to you, take care. And I'll be back at some point. Bye now.